want you to do is try to find a way to apply what we've talked about up to this point athletically. So get set up to the ball. If I said something like side, meaning take the elbow to the side, now turn, good, release, finish. Okay, so if you had to do something called elbow, turn, release, finish, show me what you would do as an athlete. Elbow, turn, release, finish. You know, or side, turn, release, finish. Whatever sounds In simple to you. Fluid or like yeah, that? just one fluid motion now. Just like a song and dance. Good. Side, turn, release, finish. Good. So that's it in pieces. So now do it in, a, in like a song and dance. Side turn, release, finish. There you go. Now play the shot. Side turn, release, finish. Okay, so you got the inside side turn part. We didn't get the release finish, right? Okay. Yeah. There you go. Now you could do three words, inside release finish. Doesn't matter to me, I, you know, everybody's a little different. Right. I'm good with two words and four words. I'm not very good with three words. Okay. So, Bye. yeah. Mm -hmm. So close stance, good. Yeah, did you get a full release? No. Not quite, but you're understanding it, aren't you? Didn't it? Yeah. Okay. And you're saying that's what I should? Try it. Let's okay. see what happens. That went left. Yeah, now, it didn't hook. No. It went left because you turned your shoulders early like you've done for so long. Right. And now, you that's the release. That's the feel of the release. Do that from the inside and it won't be a pull. There you go. That's inside release tall finish. Again, whatever you're going to call it. Right. But you have athletically, you would say, well, yeah, I was inside, I released it, and I was tall to the finish, right? Yep. But a lot of people tell me they feel right on top of the field. That's what I can tell you. Because what they feel like is imagine the club base always facing to the outside of the circle. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So it's not it's not rolling right. and facing this way. It feels to you like you're hinging it up and it's yep. facing out the whole way. Right. Going back. And That's coming okay. in. It's not okay, it's recommended. Okay. <laughs> Alright. Then, All right. then I can do that. Bye. Good. That was released. You know, can you guarantee me a good release and don't worry about where the ball goes? There you go. See, when you're training, you got to break your training down. If you want to be self-sufficient, when you first get to the range, you got to warm up just trying to feel this release. And then we got to move on to let's get a body action. And then we got to say let's put them together. Now, that's just working on technique, not how to play the game. If you want to learn how to get the athletic actions and play the game, then I have to move you into what I would call an athletic practice session. Okay. And then what we do is after that, we have people actually play golf on the driving range. So for a third of your balls, if you're going to play competitive golf, for a third of your balls, you want to train the technique, okay. for the, which is what we're doing now. For a third of your balls, you want to go out and practice athletically, how do I apply this? How do I do what we call like variable training so it transfers to the golf course? And for the last session, it's just playing golf on the driving range. Imagine a hole, there's my fairway, there's my target. Play a driver, what do I have left? Play that club and tee to green. You know, we're not gonna putt here. And now you're simulating here what you're gonna do out there. That's what prepares you to play your best golf. What, is, what do you consider the middle part? 
It's, a, it's, pract- it's what we call practice. So for, I define training as developing a skill in an organized fashion. Okay. Just like I go to the gym, I have a workout, it's training. Right. Okay? Practice is taking the skills you've already developed, putting them into an organized simulation so that I'm, I'm actually simulating a way of transferring those skills to an actual playing situation. Okay. Okay? And then literally simulating the play here. Right before I take it out there. Okay. See what I'm saying? So, you know, for example, there's five balls. First five balls, all I want you to do is get the feel of that club face facing out and releasing it, trapping it, and I want every ball to go left if anything. I don't care where the target is, I want all these shots to go left. Great, trapped it, ball went left. It went right where you released it. Same thing, give me four more of those. Great. We didn't have a glancing fade to the right, did we? So manage that club face. Get this sucker trapped. Good. Released it. Let him go left. Keep doing it. Feel that square club face. Go ahead and release it. Okay, now. The last four or three were. <laughs> well, they were a little thin, right. but they were released. Okay. Okay? Not one of them went right like you've been doing. Okay, now get set up. I'm going to give you another drill. Yeah, without a ball first, just to get the feel for it. Okay, keep your arms, hands, and golf club and address. I call it the, the preset hip drill. So do the same thing. Same thing. You're going to preset the hips. You're going to see that inside path, and you're going to swing inside going back and inside coming down. Okay? Get that feel. Now with this drill, my goal would be for you to never miss a shot left. I want all these shots to go right. Okay? Okay? Good. I don't care if you released it. I want the path to be inside because you know that's one of the things you need to work on, right? So great release, but that was the first drill. You see what I'm saying? So find a way to get this inside, inside. Inside going back, inside coming down. There. And I don't care how far right this goes now. It's not about good golf shots right now. It's about developing a skill. Right? So preset it. Good. Good. Now these next five balls, the drill would be get it inside, inside, and release. Now what you'll see in due time is that your release guarantees it's never going to go right. Okay. The inside, inside guarantees it's never going to go left. Okay. Every great ball striker does one thing to make sure it doesn't go right and one thing to make sure it doesn't go left. And what does that give them? A corridor. Okay? So, what I'm seeing. Okay. There's a corridor. There's left, there's right. The first drill should send them over here somewhere. The second drill will send them over here somewhere. And the third drill will send them in here somewhere. So I would say, don't need to preset the hips, but we definitely need inside, inside release, right? Right. Yeah. 
Now, it's in the corridor. I gave you kind of a, I gave you a corridor like this right now. Right. Not a perfect squared off one, right? Right. The same. I, I rarely have uh, divots. divots that go that way, that's for sure. <laughs> well, actually, if you take a divot and the ball goes dead straight, the divot actually has to go left, believe it or not. Because when we're swinging down the plane, the plane's coming from the inside as we swing down, yeah. the actual force, what we call the path, the energy's going out to the right. So if the club face was square to that path and you came down plane, you'd send it to the right. Okay. So that whole thing has to be turned this way. You see it together, it goes straight. But, so, but your divots were way too far left. There's a difference. A little left and way too far left are two different things. So inside, inside release. There you go. So right now, you got a good inside in the backswing. We've got a little bit of this outside turn starting down and a good release. So you're getting solid pulls right now. They're just not enough inside coming down to send them straight. Does that make sense? Okay, so inside, inside release is what we're looking for here. Great. But still, would you rather have this miss a little pull or would you rather have that glancing thing you were having earlier? Well, and I guess I was thinking, I felt like that was straight, but I guess because I well, it's, felt it's, like I it's, It went straight, but it's just on the left side of the corridor. I got you. In other words, it wasn't straight down the middle of the corridor. Gotcha. Right. Okay. All right. <laughs> Great. Now that was inside, inside, weak release. Yeah. You don't like that one as much. I hate that one. By the way, here's how you set up your corridor. Put the stick here. This is between your feet and the ball. And this one would be straight out in the middle. So those two lines are going to go that way. Your shoulders need to be square to this. And your feet need to be close to that at address. Good. Inside, inside release now. There it is. That's the first one you've played today that actually fits your body mechanics. balls again, just release. Five balls, preset hip drill, inside, inside. Five balls, bind it together. And then what we'll end up doing, once you do this, we're going to do this like four times, and then I'm going to bring three balls over. The first ball will be release, the second ball will be precept, and the third ball will be together. That's what we call variable training. Okay, so solid release, right? Yep. Square release. There you go. Much more solid, right? Little pulls, I'm okay with that. It's pretty straight actually, but just a little pull. There you go. Now that was just release it, solid. Went left of the corridor that time, right? Yep. But great release. I give you a 10 on that one. Yeah, great release. Don't look at that as bad. Look at it as, wow, that is a strong release, okay? Yeah, not bad. Come on, get it over there. <laughs> no, I mean, I'll take that. As long, anywhere on the left side of the corridor or just left of it, I'm good. Good. That ball went straight down the left stick. Okay? So if you if you set this up on the range like this, you get three alignment sticks and you set it up like I have, when you're trying to release it, it should go, you know, ideally straight down that left stick. Okay? Good. Now, preset the hips coming from the inside. Where do we want this? Closer to the right stick. Because we want the body motion in the inside inside to send it right. It's okay. Stay with it. Some, this one, sometimes you got to move the ball a little further away from that alignment stick. People get afraid they're going to catch it. Good. So preset the hips. Go. Doesn't it feel like you're going to swing more right when you preset the hips? Yeah, more inside, inside, right? Yeah, good. Shoulders square to that stick. Great. Now preset. Go. Yeah. It's definitely easier to send it right doing that.
Great. Exactly. Well, it's a different type of ride, isn't it? Right. <laughs> I mean, these aren't like push, you know, fade rides. They're right. coming from the inside, just starting out there. Right. Okay. Now, together. now, if my release sends it this far left, and if my inside inside sends it this far right, if I do them together, they'll right. come in the middle somewhere, won't they? Okay. There it is. Wow. See, well, at least you're a lot closer, so if this doesn't work tomorrow, I'm going to come back. Okay. And see if <laughs> Mike, I'm like, oh, I got to go back. Over yeah, two and a half hour drive or three hour drive or yeah. up there at least. There it is. Right down the middle. down the middle now wasn't as heavily released was it great right down the corridor again and hey your corridors you know got a window if the balls on your left side of the corridor or your right side like eventually we'll take those two outside sticks and we'll make them parallel right. I mean that ball was still in a parallel corridor so if it's in that parallel corridor and it's like left of your target by 15 feet, you don't get to complain. Right. <laughs> well, the nice thing is they were definitely not going this far. They were not as far today. That mm -hmm. Yeah, I mean, they're going further now because you're releasing it and you're more inside. So, you know what? I don't even feel the, I mean, a little bit, but yeah. I, now it's almost like this is... More natural. Why? Because you, I gave you permission to make it release over there. Yeah. And then I gave you permission inside, inside to send it over there. And now I said just put them together. You, know, you have to understand your parameters to get in the middle. Right. Like most people are afraid they're going to miss it here or there and they're kind of guiding it. No. I want you to know what it takes to miss it over there. Like a good miss over there. I want you to know what it takes to miss it over there with a good miss. In other words, just overdoing your inside, inside goes to the right really give me a strong release sends it left well now give me a strong inside inside release yeah. and what do they do all five of those went down the middle yeah. okay now actually all five of your releases went there left all five of your inside insides went right and all five of your inside inside strong releases went straight yeah. okay so that's what we're looking for Good. okay so strong release right great Strong release, it's gonna go left. Yep, strong release, and that one went right down that left yellow stick, didn't it? Yeah. Yep, strong release right down that left yellow stick. Yeah, even left of the yellow stick. I'm okay with that because we're all we're working on right now is strong release. Square club face, strong release. Great. Okay, now next five. Preset hip, inside, inside, send it out to the right. Good. Doesn't matter how far right it goes right now, does it? Just got to be inside, inside, send it out to the right. Great. Inside, inside, send it out to the right. Great. Inside, inside, send it out to the right. Yep. Preset that hip, inside, inside, send it out to the right. Great. You know, and you're doing that from a squared up club face. I mean, a squared up shoulder stance. Yeah. Your foot stance is closed, but your shoulders are square. It's not like you're just trying to aim over there. Right. You get it, right? Okay, now we got to package it up. 
Inside, inside, release. There you go, right down the corridor. Now, these, we'd like to see them going down the corridor made by the two orange sticks that are more parallel to each other and parallel to your aim line here, right? So inside, inside, release. There you go. Eh, you know, left side of the corridor, but that still. It's pretty good, yeah? Yeah. Liking it? Yeah. Great. That's right down the corridor. Great trajectory, great release, great inside, inside move. Yep. So that was thin, why? Because you didn't release down enough, right? Got to be, be releasing down and through, not just through. Inside, inside, soft release, so a little fade, but again, not bad. It's still in the corridor. It was left of the right orange stick, so it was still in the corridor. That makes sense? Yeah. Good. No, I like, you know, I like because now it's like when I go to do the... Like, I, because we're feeling both sides... You got both parts of it. Yeah, if you know where the left side of the, the, the pattern is and the right side, you know where the middle is. Right. But you never knew where the middle was before. It's just right. trying to correct the mistake. Yeah. You see that? So your keys really are close stance, shoulder square, 10 finger grip, know what a strong release is, know what a good inside, inside path is from that. Your hips open that path up. That's why I have you do the preset hip drill, by the way. Yeah. Okay, so people talk about clearing. I want you to clear an inside path in the backswing so you can have it in the downswing. Right. Right. And then put it together is the package, inside, inside release.